swirling in that unsponsored red and black Monte Carlos team got a great jump on Gary St. Amant. He's got a four car length lead. Yeah, and we've been talking about Brandon Sperling. They need sponsorship trouble, trouble on the backstretch. Butch Miller heavily involved. Scott Hansen is in the middle of this one. Everyone talked about the backstretch. There is fire on the racetrack, too. Two cars are on fire back there. Red flag on the speedway. Butch Miller's car is one of those in flames. Butch bailing out quickly. There is another car on fire on the outside. A little further behind Miller's machine. Butch is out safely. There is another car against the wall. A blue and white machine. I think that's Dave Sensiba's car with fire coming out of the back of that machine. If we can look a little bit to the right there. There you see the Meyer Stores Pontiac. We're told that everyone is out, including Dave Sensiba. That is Sensiba's six car. The net is down. Those two cars are heavily involved in flame. In fact, Butch Miller's Meyer Stores Pontiac is going to be a total loss. Mike Eddy involved right off the bat. Philip Cranifus is in this one. Red flag. We have not even completed one lap here at Nashville Speedway USA. Mike peeling the helmet off. He knows his day is done. The front end of the Eiton Chevrolet, the eWeb21.com car, bent up badly. Look at wow. Bruce Miller's Meyer Pontiac, Steve. That car is just a torch. That thing is a total loss, but as you said, thank the Lord, everybody's out of the race cars and okay. We can't say the same thing for those race cars, but the important thing is the drivers are out. Russ Tuttle's car also there when we get the uh, camera moved a little off of the fire crew doing a wonderful job to put out the blaze in Butch Miller's machine. They can't get it quashed down. Look at this. Coming out of turn two, Ricky Johnson and Butch Miller got together and Miller backed into the wall hard. And there you can see the fuel spraying. Scott Hansen caught up in it as well. Johnson's car goes by. You see the fuel just blowing up into the air there. Hansen with the left front locked up on that car. Other cars stopping back down the track is where the fireball. We're on board now. Mike Garvey able to get to the inside and get by. Didn't uh, get a real close look, but here we are coming onto the back stretch. Yeah, there's Butch Miller sliding right towards your living room. Ricky Johnson in the blue car. And Mike Eddy, and the flames are up right behind Eddy. That was sensible. Right there coming at you throwing fire at our speed shot camera on the back stretch there so we are under red flag conditions everyone stopped on the front straightaway just underway at nashville no laps complete and we are happy to tell you that butch miller and dave sensiba are okay we'll be back with more in a moment it's extremely extremely used up but you're okay yeah i'm fine uh, it does look a little used up you know we haven't been winning any races here lately and they said well if you can't win them be spectacular and i guess it's a little <laughs> spectacular today which was an awfully close call, glad to see you're okay, but that early in the race. Yeah, you know, we had an excellent car. We came down here and tested a week and a half ago, and we were two tenths quicker than the next quickest quickest guy that came down here. It's really disappointing, you know. Uh, we want to run good. I see more gasoline coming out of there. That'll be nice, huh? When that accident happened, it was very early in the event. It was a spectacular crash. You and Dave Sensima both. Uh, that's the number one fear of drivers, is it not? Fire in a race car? Absolutely. You know, I've been in about three fires, and I think one of them still on the front of the Simpson catalog or, or a fuel-safe fire cell catalog or something. One of them still spectacular from uh, Richmond, but uh, this one I saw the fire. I had a little fire in front of me, and the next thing I knew, the fuel cell was on fire. That fire to the right of me, and I thought, well, it's time to get out. And uh, other than that, I'm not hurt at all. I just, I'm, I'm more disappointed that I can't finish the race with such a good race car. Butch's wife Donna in the background there watching as her husband is fine, but boy, when you see that race car, it's hard to believe that he was able to get out of that. Okay, you can see the fuel cell so yeah. badly damaged. Dave Sensiba's car badly torn up. That's the firefighting foam. 18 cars now, according to ASA officials, involved in this. Some should be able to return, but there's the first group of six, seven cars involved. Butch, Ricky Johnson, Dave Sensiba, Mike Eddy, we showed you Russ Tuttle's car in the middle of that. They're working on the 16. They've got the Sawzall out to try to get him back in. Philip Cranifus and Rick Beebe, Joey Clanton involved, Chad Wood, J.C. Beatty, and just a host of others, and Tim Taylor, who we talked to a moment ago, plus Kevin Conway and Greg Usher. Many of these teams thrashing to see if they can take advantage of the red flag period to try to get back in competition. Only two laps are on the scoreboard here in Nashville. We've got some time yet. We'll update it for you in just a moment.